What are you responding to? Clearly, you're seeing demand coming from small businesses, right? Absolutely. So we're really excited about the launch of Business Blueprint uh, for a few reasons for American Express. Um, the first is American Express is a leader in small business cards. You'll know that. Um, we have over 3 million small business card customers here in the U.S. Uh, and we know that those customers want more. They want easier, more integrated ways to manage their cash flow, which is always a small business pain point you know, in any economic climate. And what Blueprint lets us, does, lets us do is engage with these customers in new ways. So they can come onto the platform and log in to access a free insights tool. They could apply for a flexible line of credit product. They can take an American Express business checking account and access a great APY, all in one easy to manage place. And we kind of see it as one of the most important new benefits that we've rolled out to small businesses really since membership rewards. So we're very excited about the launch today. You see it as a significant growth opportunity. Where? Why? Well, small business is already a big part of American Express, and, and we're a big part of small businesses here in the U.S. In fact, I talked about those three million small businesses, but they represent about 40% of all, of all U.S. small business card spending. 40% of that, every time a small business uses a card, in the U.S. on a billions of, you know, making a payment, it comes through American Express. Mm -hmm. So it's already a big part of the company. And it's our goal really to support these small businesses as they grow. Mm -hmm. You know, the post-pandemic period, we saw this incredible small business formation in the U.S. Over five million small businesses formed. We want to make sure that as many of them as possible become American Express customers. and We help them navigate whatever's ahead. And of course, in the near term, the macro picture a bit bleaker, longer term, you know, who knows where the cycle goes. I was on the phone with Steve Square, your CEO, on Friday, and he was talking about some of the slowdown in payments that he's seeing from small businesses. What are you seeing at the moment, and why is that? Well, the company last Friday, as you know, the day you talked to Steve, reported 25% revenue growth for the full year in 22. And we, we went out and gave guidance for 2023 of revenue growth between 15 and 17 percent. So we're seeing very strong spending trends across our customer base. Uh, what we did talk about was a moderation in small business digital advertising spend. Mm -hmm. We have a very broad range of small businesses that spend on many things they need to run and grow their businesses. So interesting that maybe that more caution, and I remember Steve saying whether or not it was being just a bit of confusion on whether it was more the macro economy on that. Just talk to us a little bit about the fact that this whole business blueprint comes from an acquisition you made of Cabbage, one that I know well, sort of an OG in the European fintech space. You're retiring the name Cabbage. Is that something that we're going to see a little bit more of? I mean, you bought Resi, for example. Will these things become Amex printed? Well, we try to be very led by what works for our customers. And small businesses told us very clearly, given that big position that we have in cards, that they know American Express, they love American Express, and it was easier for them to understand the business blueprint from American Express as part of that overall relationship. Your purview, you're helping serve small, mid-sized, but also big global companies here. And I'm interested in what you're seeing from a corporate vantage point. With Steve on the call again, sort of, and, and when chatting to him, talked about corporate travel just not yet coming back. What are you hearing from the people that you talk to about their desire, corporates willing to spend at the moment? So that's absolutely right. Uh, when the pandemic hit in early 2020, we saw corporate travel reduce, you know, materially, down minus 86 percent, I think, at this low point way back in 2020. And as everyone got back on the road into 2021, 2022, we began to see this gradual recovery. Um, it's still not back to 2020, 2019 levels, but my clients tell me they are beginning to travel. You see a return to travel faster in some of those more customer-facing, client-facing industries like banking, uh, aspects of financial services. But it's been a slow ramp, and we don't expect it to come back fully um, for, for a while. Um, but customers are getting out there, moving around, and it's an exciting growth story in the years ahead. And a lot of that's technologically driven. And I'm interested, as the tech show, sort of the talent you have on board, the fact that you're rolling out these new offerings to small businesses. Are you making the most of the fact that, look, some people are letting go of great engineering talent? Is that something you want to beef up on? How does it look like for you in Amex? We mentioned the cabbage acquisition. And as we looked at that opportunity, we were excited about the product set, of course, the tech platform, you know, being able to make these interoperable products work together, but also the people. We had in Cabbage a sort of digitally native, small business focused set of product and engineer uh, you know, leaders in their industry. So we're really excited to bring them into Team Amex and we're excited to keep building on what we bought in the years ahead. Any more acquisitions? Well, we have a clear strategy, right? We want to do more with our small business customers to help them thrive through whatever's ahead. 
Uh, we have been looking at bolt-on acquisitions. We'll continue to do that as we really make sure that we are essential uh, to how our small business customers do business.